Hi guys, so that's for the vlog. Today I'm just doing a review of Ireland's under-21 game against Italy yesterday. Um, just give my thoughts on where Ireland are at at the moment as well going forward. So let's get straight into this one. Now, first of all, this was Jim Crawford's first match in charge of the Irish under-21s, obviously being assistant to Stephen Kenny, who's now the senior manager. Ireland went into this game that Gavin Bazuna and goal, Leo Connor right back, uh, Darren Leahy left back. They had Connor Masters and Nathan Collins as centre back. In midfield, they had Taylor and Coventry. On the left, El Bazzetti, who's with Lincoln, of course. Smallbone on the right, making his first appearance. Uh, Connor Ronan in the 10. And we had Oba Fenny up front. Now, it was a difficult situation, I think, for Ireland going into this game, first of all, because obviously playing Italy away is difficult enough. But they're missing actually six players, Ireland, to the team that actually drew nil nil against Italy at the Aviva Stadium. Actually, Atala Stadium, wasn't it? Um, you know, the likes of Jason Malumbi brought up to the senior squad. Uh, Troy Parrott injured. Adam Ida, players like that, uh, were all unavailable. But then Jay, the likes of Jason Knight was called up to the senior squad, along with Darrow Shea as well. So, you know, it's been... The whole Irish scene has been disrupted by COVID, etc., and things like that. So, you know, missing a lot of very important players, Ireland, and... It, had a feeling it might hamper their chances in this game. Now, I know Italy were missing players too. Italy were missing some players due to COVID as well, but I think Italy can afford, as proven the case, I suppose, in the match, to miss a couple of players more so than, say, Ireland can. Um, Italy still had some fantastic players in this match. I mean, Sandro Tonoli from AC Milan, he just made a big money move there from Brescia, rated very highly. Um, you know, they had the likes of Cotrone, who was at Wolverhampton Wonders. Um, Frapati as well is another player they had and he's actually played a couple of games at Juventus this season so Italy had a lot of very important players Sotil as well who's a Fiorentina player I believe in loan at Calori looked a very good player he's very sharp in this game scored a very good goal um, I suppose on to the game itself as such um, I thought the first 30 minutes or so was even Stephen there wasn't many chances in the game uh, Ireland were reasonably comfortable uh, they looked dangerous on the left-hand side well, Bazzetti actually did seem to get the ball out to him regularly and he was uh, causing problems and getting some crosses into the box. Um, a couple of them, you know, were decent crosses as well, but Obafeni at times was on his toes. I was disappointed actually with Obafeni in this game. It's going to come on to it a bit later, but I've seen a lot of people over the last few weeks calling for Obafeni to be in the Irish squad and possibly even starting. Um, you know, based on this performance and what I've seen as well, he's nowhere near it for me. I don't think, I'd question his work rate a little bit and maybe that's where the problem lies. I didn't think his work rate was fantastic in this game. Um, he doesn't look fit for me for a start. Um, you know, and people want him to be playing the senior squad. I'm not so sure about that. And he wasn't a threat in this game at all. In fact, he was quite poor. Um, you know, not getting in at Southampton, fair enough, but um, you can't see how he's going to get in ahead of Danny Ings, particularly with the way he's playing, he needs to really up his performances. So um, I'm not sure about him being part of the senior squad this minute in time, I must say. Um, yeah, first half, obviously, Italy then took the lead two minutes for half time, which was a killer blow for Ireland, wasn't it? Uh, that guy, Scotel, scored the goal. Um, you know, it was good work down the left. He tucked inside and he hit a shot with his right foot into the far corner. It was a lovely kind of a finesse strike as well. And Italy led 1-0. Um, Ireland had a great chance in the second half to start the second half reasonably well small bones free kick whipped in Collins just has to touch it unfortunately can't get a touch and hits off an Italian player and luckily goes out of play he could have easily went into the net as well uh, one all would have made things interesting Ireland would have had something maybe to hang on for as well but then Italy obviously got the second goal and in the end ran out comfortable enough winners where does this leave Ireland in the group well it leaves Italy top of the group Um head of Ireland goal difference but they have a game in hand as well so you'd have to fancy Italy are going to top this group um, from Ireland's point of view second the five best runners up go through so it's important for Ireland they're on 16 points if they can beat Iceland at home and they can go to Luxembourg and get the win if they get the six points I'd be confident that Ireland are going to make it um, it's just a pity though I think you know the problem with these tournaments and especially with COVID as well um 
we've lost a lot of players. So if you look at the squad and the team, the start of the, the the top of the group, the start of the group, etc. You're six, seven players down. I mean, that's a huge, huge difference. And obviously, they're six or seven generally are better players because obviously they're being called up to the international senior side and that kind of thing. Um, and for a c- country like Ireland, they won't be as deep as Italy. Italy played a lot of their under 20s, but under 20, under 21, you know what I mean? There's not a huge difference, let's be honest. Um, and they would have a bigger pool of quality players to call upon. Um. I suppose Jim would be a little bit disappointed, of course, uh, with the result. Will you be disappointed with the performance? The performance wasn't too bad, as I said, overall. We just lacked the extra bit of quality that maybe we had the, the earlier games. Um, that said, as I said, two big games coming up for the under-21s now. If we can get two wins there, I'd be fairly confident that uh, 22 points will actually get you through um, into the next stage. So, um, yeah, guys, what did you think? Did you see the game? Did you manage to see the game? What did you think of the performance? How, where do you think Ireland under 21s can essentially go from here? And I'll leave it there, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you later. Thanks very much.